Instagram. So as some of you may know, I did recently take a little bit of this bill in Chicago. Um, little motorcycle accident, if you will. So kind of just wanted to tell you guys exactly what happened uh, from my point of view. Um, so we were up in Chicago. Uh, me and a few other locals from South Florida, we all drove up to Chicago for uh, Lean Back in Chirac which is a huge stunt ride uh, put on by Brian 636, uh, misguided. Um, it's awesome. So I've been a few years, you know, I've been probably like four years now and it's been crazy, awesome experience every time, but it is a stunt ride. So sometimes crazy things do happen. Um, so I just wanted to explain to you guys what happened um, in this little wreck. Um, yeah, so basically we were up there. It was the Friday night hood ride. Uh, me and a couple others, we were leaving from the main hotel. Uh, we went to the meat spot, um, chilled there for a little bit. And then once we left the meat spot, we were going to get on the highway. Um, it wasn't even 10 minutes into the ride that now we're getting on the highway. And I remember there was a few of us together, like some of us Broward, well, there was a few of us together, some of us like uh, South Florida <laughs> riders were, were there just trying to stay together because there are hundreds, maybe even thousands of riders there. Um, so we we're trying to stay together a little bit, just kind of looking out for each other. And we get on the highway and almost like immediately once we get on the highway, um, one of the guy, one of my friends, Mike, DJ Faze, um, he goes and he's in the lane next to me. And um, so he goes to do a wheelie and he, he clutches up, he throws it back and he goes into this long, he goes to drag this long scrape and he's, he's dragging it out and it, almost immediately once he goes and starts scraping, I think to myself, I'm like, oh man, like that was, that was, that's a hard scrape. Like he really just threw that back there. Like it wasn't just a little tap, you know, he was really all in there. And I don't know if it was, the Chicago streets because they're not the best you know holes and bumps everywhere um, or what but then he ended up like hitting the brake and doing what we call a mousetrap he got flung over the handlebars um, and there was no saving it at that point so he ended up going down he was in the lane to the left of me but once he went down he kind of slid into my lane so now I'm thinking how am I gonna get out of this I he's too close to me there's no time to swerve to the right. There's no time to swerve to the left. All I can really do to stop hitting him is to actually stop. Um, so that's exactly what I did. I, I locked my, my brake. I feel the bike sliding underneath me. And then in my head, I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I saved it. I saved it. I didn't hit him. Like I did it in time. Oh, thank God, you know? And next thing I know, I get boom, slammed from behind. Um, folds me right into my bike and then throws me onto the ground uh, on the highway so I'm rolling on the highway and you know it all happens so quick it all happens so fast and when he did that it knocked the wind out of me so I, I couldn't breathe it you know in the moment it feels like forever it takes you takes you just to be able to catch your breath again and I'm sitting there still can't breathe and I already had people coming up to me um, booty came up to me and he's like, are you okay? Are you okay? What hurts? Where does it hurt? And I saw some of the other guys were over making sure Mike was okay, checking in on him, helping him out. So I knew he was okay getting helped as well. Um, I just had to sit there for a second. I needed to catch my breath. I couldn't talk, couldn't do nothing. And then he was like, do you want to get up? Do you want to get up? And he, he was going to lift me up. And I was like, no, no. Like I, I knew I could get myself up. I was fine. I knew I was good. Um, I just need to breathe for a second. <laughs> so I finally get up and the guys had already lifted my bike up off the floor, um, but they were trying to get it started for me so we could keep riding because I was going to keep riding. And th the only thing is it wouldn't start. Um, so we ended up pulling it over to the side of the road and the guys ended up having to help Mike because Mike, unfortunately, um, he couldn't really walk. He couldn't walk on his own. He knew his foot was broken. Um, at the at the time, we didn't know the extent of the break, but we knew something was wrong. Like he knew he could not walk on it. 
Um, so the guys, they all, they lifted him up over to the side of the road, um, pushed, pushed the bikes over to the side of the road. And then we're thinking, you know, we're trying to be quick because obviously we are sitting on the side of the highway. Um, so we're trying to be quick thinking, okay, what's the next step? What are we going to do now? Uh, Puti, who was there that was asking me if I was okay, he was actually riding my Grom that day. So he was like, you know what? I'll stay here with your bike and with Mike. You take the Grom. And Mikey Bradley had actually stopped with me as well to help. And he... He was like, you take the Grom, ride back to the hotel with Mikey Bradley. We're going to go get his van and we're going to come pick up the bike and we're going to pick up Mike. Um, so that's exactly what we did. I hopped on the Grom. We get out of there, go back to the hotel, get the van, uh, came back quick. And, um, you know, we had pushed the bike over to a little spot off the highway so it wasn't too dangerous. And um, we ended up loading my bike into the van. And the guys were there. By the time we had gotten back, you could see Mike's foot was like swollen, like all right on the outside of his shoe. It was huge. So we knew immediately. So it was just, it was all messed up. Um, so we ended up loading him. The guys lifted him and carried him into the van. And we drove right to the emergency room because we knew he needed to be taken care of. Um, took him there, got him in a wheelchair, got him all set up and let the doctors do their thing. Um, that was good. Um, it happens, man. It, it definitely happens. You know, when, when we go on these big stunt rides, it's part of you, like, you know, the risks, we all know the risks we take when we go on these rides. You know, it's not the first time I've been knocked out by somebody else and it probably won't be the last. Um, we know this stuff happens sometimes when you, when everybody's doing the stunts and everything around us, sometimes things just go wrong. Um, it's, everybody likes to say, you know, it's part of the game. Um, so yeah, it happens. This is the life we signed up for, you know, thankfully I'm okay. Thankfully it wasn't worse. Um, and everybody else is okay for the most part. Uh, I talked to Mike DJ phase that went down and he's he's doing okay he's still got a few surgeries ahead of him now for his foot um, broken ribs but he's uh i would say he's pretty high spirits still um mainly just feels bad the whole thing happened in general you know but he definitely will recover and he'll he'll be back to it before we know it <laughs> so just a little update on me got a little shiner got some these are, I thought these were broken, but they're not. Uh, got this cast on my leg right now. Uh, crushed my talus bone and they did some more imaging. Uh, once I got back to Florida, I think there's some more broken bones in there. I got two broken ribs from, uh, I think from Carrie's bike hitting me or maybe from the slam. Uh, my right foot is completely uh, bruised up. I couldn't walk on it. I can kind of put pressure on it now, but nothing's broken in my right foot. Uh, thing It was gnarly, you know, leaned back a little too hard and leaned back and, you know, went, went bad real quick. Um, but yeah, he's still got a few surgeries he's got to go to. Uh, he's going to be seeing a foot specialist and everything um, as well. So. We'll, we'll see kind of the next steps to his road to recovery. I don't know. I'm hoping like in a week or so, I'll be good to go. You know what I mean? I tried to walk it off. Didn't really happen. Um, I guess you need your ankle to, to walk. Like, I was in tears the other day with like the amount of people that like the love, you know, the love and support like in the scene. And it just really like brought tears to my eyes. Like, Sometimes you think, oh, you know, nobody's on your side or nobody's on your team. And dude, it's been killer. Like the uh, the response from everybody and, you know, it's it's crazy. It's real crazy. And I'm glad that, um, like I said, that nobody got hurt worse because bikes can be fixed, you know, and you know, that's what I got. So see you soon out on the road. <laughs> also, you know, once we did get back, once everybody did finish the ride that night, uh, we all came back to the hotel. And once we came back to the hotel, um, you know, my, my bike was unloaded and everything. And I was, 
I was like brought to tears because, oh, I'm going to cry now. <laughs> I was brought to tears because not once did I ask any of those guys that were there to step in and help me. You know, I would have been on the side of the road, stranded, trying to figure out how to get back and get my truck and do everything. But, you know, these guys literally pulled over on the side of the road and they're like, we're gonna, don't worry, we're gonna get back. We're gonna miss the whole ride. We're just gonna take care of you. Um, and that was awesome. And even back at, when we're at the hotel, like my bike's just there and all of these guys are like, I must've had like four or five guys there just trying to work on my bike already just to get it started, just to fix it up. And I didn't ask for that. I didn't ask for any of these guys to step in and help me like that. <laughs> And, but yet there they were, you know, it was just like, what needs to be done? We got to get you back on the road. Like it was, this is, they knew that that was the way they could help. And so they were just doing that. And this is the reason why I love this community. You know, I have met like the best people in the world that would do anything for me. And, you know, right back at, right back to them, you know, like I would give my life for these people. Um, literally the best community in the world you know I always say I love riding but really when it comes down to it I fell in love with the community and yeah you know there might be one or two people that kind of ruin it for for a bunch of the, a bunch of others you know but but these are the people like these are my people and I couldn't be more grateful to be surrounded by such awesome company <laughs> so thank you guys everybody that came and helped out um, I really do appreciate it and my bikes still won't start um, we didn't end up figuring it out uh, so I am going to be dropping it off at the shop um, but hopefully fingers crossed we can get it figured out soon and um, I can get back on the road <laughs>